hi and welcome back to another Lake Mead water level update. It's been cool and calm around Las Vegas and Lake Mead lately, with cloudy skies and some beautiful winter sunsets, but not much else going on weather-wise. Things are looking up at the lake as we head into winter, and despite some future projections from the USBR that are less than optimistic, we anxiously await to see if there is another El Nino on the horizon for the southwest. This is your report for December 2023. Let's jump right in. After a mild fall and a cool start to winter, many folks including us have been out and about enjoying the lake and desert. As we head into the holiday season, everyone has been getting into the spirit, including the boaters down at Lake Mead Marina. Here you'll see some fun clips of the annual Parade of Lights down at Lake Mead. That one's lit up. Looking at the lake level today, we see it sitting at 1,066 feet above sea level, which is 162 feet below full pool, still holding at 34% capacity and rising slightly but maintaining relatively the same level over the last three months. We also reached an important recovery hallmark as of this report, with Lake Mead finally breaking back above its 2021 level. Total inflows at Lake Mead for the 2024 water year, which just started in October, are at 98% so right around average, while the total required releases from Hoover Dam by terms of the River Compact are at 12% so far. Feeding Lake Mead upstream at Lake Powell, the water level has been slowly declining. As of this report, Lake Powell sits at 3,570 feet above sea level, which is 129 feet below full pool and 37% full. Powell has dropped around 2 feet since last report, perhaps explaining why Lake Mead downstream has been holding steady even though it has been supplying thirsty users in Arizona and California downstream. Total inflows at Lake Powell as of this report are 76% of normal, so a bit low heading into winter this year, while total releases have delivered 15% of the required minimum down to Lake Mead and beyond. Let's pull up the latest weekly water supply report from the USBR. If we look at our reservoir content, you can see Lake Mead and Lake Powell are still about even, with upwards of 8 million acre-feet of water contained in each reservoir. Following the same trend as last report, however, Lake Mead continues to gain content over Powell, which is something the USBR once again intends to change in the coming year. We'll talk about that in just a minute. For now, let's highlight the average outflows from each reservoir also. You can see Powell was releasing on average 9,900 cubic feet per second downstream to Lake Mead while Lake Mead was releasing nearly half that rate at 5,400 cubic feet per second. The total system content in the lower basin as of this report is still at 43%, compared to last year at this time, when the lower basin content was hovering near an all-time low of 33%. In the coming year, a bit more water will be left in Lake Mead also from voluntary cuts, like the ones we discussed previously back in September by the city of Phoenix, some of these cuts are already underway as of October, the start of the new water year. Deputy Secretary of the Interior Tommy Boudreau said the wet winter and conservation commitments from Nevada, Arizona, and California would provide a stable footing for water supplies for the next few years, hopefully keeping the Colorado River system from any dire situations until then. Conveniently, this would be right around the time the historic 100-year-old river compact will be revisited by the federal government and basin states in 2026. Despite all this, the USBR isn't being very optimistic with its outlook for Lake Mead by then. In fact, as we've been mentioning throughout this update, the newest predictions released by the USBR show Lake Mead dropping to record lows within the next 24 months once again, just like what we experienced last year in 2022 when panic over Deadpool and water distribution failure came to a head. But how can this be? After the great water year we had in 2023, and the talks of a possible El Nino that may currently be on the way in 2024? Well, that is a complex question with many moving parts when looking at the river as a whole. But, as some of you may have already guessed, this time it has more to do with reservoir management than it does with nature. We're going to go over the details of that and more in our new Colorado River Watch series. 
This new podcast format is an experiment in bringing you Colorado River news stories quicker with more in-depth coverage. So if you're interested in learning about the new lows predicted at Lake Mead and other stories like a single farm in California that uses more river water than all of Las Vegas, check out our new Colorado River Watch episode one right here. We know you have a lot of places to get your news and entertainment these days, and we want to thank you for spending some of that time here. As always, stay hydrated, stay happy out there, and we'll see you next update.